afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island. Woo! I am crossing the road very quickly. And um, right by St. Andrew by the sea. And um, back in here, I'm over by the... I just came from the Compass Rose Park, which is totally open, which is good. And there's just a couple of brush piles left over. And... One thing people didn't think about, no, I mean, I'm sure they thought about it, but just recently, hello, um, you know, now that you've got these dried brush piles, and we haven't had rain since the hurricane, um, I think we maybe had a sprinkling, there's a fear of, you know, fire, so, here goes one of our wonderful tree trucks, debris removal, and the, um, this path right here, I just, here's my second bike rider passing by. They can't get on the bike path. Um, the guys have chopped the logs, but I just want to show everybody. I know I already filmed everything when it was a big mess. Woo! Last week, but I just want to show you up close with the iPad. I'm doing this right after work. Look at this. So, just a little bit of crushing here. I mean, most of the bike path's going to be okay, except that they're going to have to fix this fence. Um, I'm telling you, the birds are very happy about this hurricane thing. It just had to open up a lot of different areas. And look right here. Danger, do not feed alligators. Well, gosh, I hope the alligators dove down deep to protect themselves. So, I'm behind this little area leading to Compass Rose. And all it takes is just a couple... Of trees to fall down and you know I've actually talked to a couple of my neighbors um, the guys that stayed and you know it's different for guys I think they're not as gonna be scared of the wind or whatever as the women might be don't take that wrong I'm, I'm a scaredy cat but um you know the reason you don't really want to be too macho even a category 2 hurricane not that you're scared of the wind, but look what the wind can do. So, if it falls down on a structure, um, buildings or what have you, that's the danger. And then, of course, the rain saturates the ground, and we had just so many pine trees that fell. So, um, I hope everybody will keep watching, uh, because we're going to kick out some very exciting videos. We'll get back to wildlife and animals, but I am a master naturalist. So I feel like it's very, very important to document what can happen in a very simple hurricane and people don't take it seriously and a lot of people don't want to evacuate. So, all right guys, well, we're signing off live. We've got this fabulous tree in the background. I'm glad it survived. Makes me really happy. Have a great day.